Today we're going to take a look at the old Dark Sleeper by Mega Bass up against the brand new-ish Agent E by Berkeley. Hi Megan folks, I'm Vinny and welcome to the channel. If you're into all things hunting and fishing, especially fishing, hitting that subscribe button could be helpful for the both of us. Just saying. So if you're wondering why I picked these two baits, it's because essentially they're the same thing. So the Dark Sleeper's been around a while and the Agent E is basically Berkeley's answer to the Dark Sleeper. You can see they're very similar baits. I mean, they're essentially the exact same size. This is the three inch half ounce. Both of them are the same. The paddle tails on the ends, you put side by side. Same size. Both swim baits have weights in the belly. You can see right here, this one's translucent on the Dark Sleeper. You can see where that weight's right there in the belly. It's pre-rigged. The hook runs through here and then out the top. So both of these baits are meant to fish more like a jig than in just a regular swim bait, even though obviously you can just swim them straight through the water uh, as a swim bait. But the belly weights on these things are designed to make them sit upright on the bottom where you can fish them same place as you would you normally fish a jig. So as for the differences in these two, I mean, not a whole lot of difference, very subtle. You can definitely see the eye is bigger on the Agent E than it is on the Dark Sleeper. Uh, the weed guards are different. You got this piece of, I'm assuming, mono or fluoro weed guard right here on the top guarding this hook. And then you got these fins right here covering the hook on the Dark Sleeper. Not having fished the Agent E, I'm going to think that the Agent E's weed guard is actually going to work a little bit better. Uh, it's stiffer. If I run my finger over the Agent E, I can barely feel the tip of that hook, whereas on the Dark Sleeper, when I do, it hangs up on my finger. So I imagine this is going to work a little bit better. However, the Dark Sleeper feels like it has a sharper hook than the uh, Agent E does, so... There's that. The paint jobs on the Agent E tend to be more realistic, the ones that uh, you got to choose from, whereas the Dark Sleeper, they got some pretty crazy colors, but they don't look uh, realistic like these do. These look like they're just printed on somehow, some way. Both of these guys got some pretty wiggly tails. As you can see though, the, uh, the Dark Sleeper bends over a little bit more than the Agent E does. But I mean, they both wiggle pretty good, but I think that's gonna mean that you can drag this thing a little bit slower and still have that tail wagon where I think this one, you probably have to pick up a little bit more speed. So there really ain't a whole lot more you can say about these two until we get them in the pool pond and take a closer look at them, how they look underwater. But before we do, if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, might be a good time to go ahead and turn on the notifications because in the next couple days when these rain chances go down, we're gonna head on out in the kayak, slap these on some rod and reels, toss them for some fishies and see uh, how they actually do in the field. Real life scenario.
Well, that was pretty cool. The big bass tried to give the old dark sleeper a taste until he figured out it was me. It wasn't a real fish, and then he didn't want nothing to do with the Agent E by the time I threw that in there. But there you go, guys. Short and sweet. Just wanted to give you guys a look at both of those baits. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about them. If you like this kind of video, you might want to click on this one. Very similar. Did the same thing with some other baits. And if you want to see a video where we go fishing the lures that we reviewed, you can check out this one right here. And if I've already gone fishing with these two baits, then that's what that video is. Okay, bye.